Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here with the uh, three basic interview questions on Abacus. Okay, so it might even help you for FEA engineer and uh, roles on stress engineer as well if you are using the Abacus tool. Uh, these are the few uh, questions they might ask you during the interview. Okay. Let's see what all the questions are. The first thing is in Abacus, how exactly we're gonna create the model. Okay, these are the following steps you could able to see, right? So steps including that the creating the part and defining the material, then we are gonna create the mesh section and then create the assembly. And then finally we define the boundary conditions and unload. Then we need to define the analysis step then submit the analysis and post process using the uh, access view okay these are the things so again uh, what is the main difference between next question that is what is the main difference between implicit and explicit analysis in Abacus normally we know even in Abacus it is the same thing okay so we already know like what exactly the implicit analysis and explicit analysis we just need to explain the same thing here okay so steps I would like to explain in detail. So the first step is to create the part. So what exactly you want to do there is the first thing in simple way, what uh, like if you are familiar with the CAD tools, you want to just create the model there and uh, import it if they are in 3D, okay, and the complex models in the step format, in the edges format or in other formats also you can able to export it. Or else you can use the Abacus tool itself to create the models. There are so many uh, like uh, tools like extrude, sweep, uh, Revolve, okay, cut now. So you can use these all the tools to create the uh, model, like simple models and all. Okay, so next thing is defining the material. So very important step. So depending upon the uh, what exactly uh, geometry you are using, so what kind of analysis you wants to do. So we're gonna define the material. So basic, if you are dealing with the static analysis, we're gonna have the uh, Inks modulus and the Poisson ratio will define. Okay, then. Uh, density if needed uh, density is uh, mainly used to check the uh, mass of the uh, component whether it is matching to the uh, like the relevant uh, realistic model or not we're going to use it okay so backers even have its own uh, material database you can even use it so when it comes to mesh very important thing so what kind of mesh and what kind of element we are uh, going to use that we need to define so there are different uh, uh, types available in it for defining we have the automatic meshing we have the manual meshing okay 1d 2d 3d uh, mesh elements are also available that i uh, already explained uh, in the uh, previous sessions you can just refer it okay next thing creating sections so very important step so what exactly we're gonna define here is so what kind of uh, module we're gonna take and uh, we're going to assign the uh, cross-sectional area and the moment of inertia for that model by considering whether it is a beam or a shell or a element okay that is solid element now after all these things we're going to just create an assembly so here what we're going to do is we're going to define the uh, contact and interactions if you are dealing with the assembly here okay then the boundary conditions and loads what exactly we're gonna consider you're gonna fix up the faces or you have some uh, displacements or if you are going to deal with the explicit uh, like the crash analysis or if you're going to deal with the uh, dynamic impact analysis so depending upon that we're gonna just define the boundary conditions and the loads okay well the ana analysis step very important so what kind of analysis we are going to do here so let's say it is a static or a dynamic analysis or it's a buckling analysis. We need to check and we need to define it. Okay. Once you define these things, we're gonna submit the analysis. So by using the Abacus solvers, Abacus standard and Abacus explicit, and if you are uh, dealing with uh, like uh, other steps, like first you need to just deal with these two, and then you can take it to other solvers like if safe and all. Okay. Once you submit the uh, all the analysis it will solve and uh, you can just use that particular uh, results like .odb file to preview the results uh, by using the post processing tools okay so this is the complete uh, 
step by step process to follow any of the analysis okay and when it comes to deliberate analysis when it comes to nonlinear okay and then uh, when it comes to a static buckling analysis you need to uh, deal with your uh, uh, very important parameters what and all you need to consider that you need to uh, check later on for different kinds of analysis but these are the basic steps okay now uh, what is the role of element types in a backus so what exactly it gonna contribute so the first thing there are uh, multiple uh, types of elements in a backus we already uh, know that if you want to refer you can just uh, refer the abacus elements and uh, how to uh, consider the abacus elements i have covered the separate video on it you can re just refer that one for the complete information but in short here we have the 3d elements we're gonna take it into like c3d4 c3d8 uh, c3d10 c3d20 reduced uh, integrated okay and then incompatible elements and all are available in 2D, we're going to consider S6 and S8 for a sheet component, that is sheet metals and all. We're going to define the thickness there. And when it comes to surface, we're going to consider uh, S3 and S4. Okay. And 1D elements, we can consider uh, like uh, uh, you can see here it is uh, T3, D3. And beam elements, we have the B31, B32, and B44. Okay. And link elements. So these are the different types of elements we're going to use in Abacus now next one how exactly we wanna conduct the fatigue analysis inside the abacus if you are uh, going to deal with the strength and durability analysis role so this question is very important so what exactly the uh, fatigue analysis we need to check okay so first thing we're gonna just uh, define the loading okay the first uh, step is to define the fatigue analysis uh, by defining the loading condition okay including the frequency amplitude waveform of the cyclic loading abacus offers the multiple loading options okay that we can select and we can define it the material properties okay here we have the uh, fatigue strength uh, sn curve cyclic properties okay these all the things you can consider so there are different uh, kinds of material like the uh, morrow uh, SWT these all the uh, material models we can consider to evaluate the uh, fatigue results then define the analysis process okay that is the procedure uh, which kind of analysis we are going to deal with it is a uh, uh, number of cycles like the uh, linear or non-linear and depending upon the solver settings we can select it okay and then what kind of approach we are going to select whether you are going to take the strain life approach or the uh, stress life approach okay I like if you are going to deal with the uh, uh, fatigue crack growth and all we can consider the uh, different uh, uh, approach like the SWT we have and uh, Brown Miller's we have okay we can consider different types of analysis procedures there so if you already conducted the uh, fatigue analysis using Abacus you might be able to uh, just uh, go through these things if you haven't done it so I have already covered the Abacus tutorials on uh, derivative analysis you can just go through that well, finally, we just need to uh, validate the uh, results by using the uh, already uh, experimental data and the uh, analytic predictions, which uh, the Abacus results, uh, we have the different uh, comparisons. We can just use that data to compare the results by using the Goodman diagram minus tool. Okay. And we have the Paris laws and all. And again, you can consider these things and you can uh, verify your results. Okay. Well, uh, next what are the common errors we're gonna face in abacus this is the most common question 90 percent will get this question okay so we have the input file errors memory errors okay the convergence error by default you'll be having it uh, the singular matrix errors you will be having material modeling errors and the contact errors okay so uh, why these will be impacted okay why these errors will be uh, uh, come into picture so first thing while defining we're gonna just take the inappropriate constraints sometimes uh, the wrong elements we can consider right the material properties whatever we have defined it is uh, inadequate or the boundary conditions which we have defined it is inappropriate as well okay uh, the physical system which we have considered it might be unstable okay and then improper incremental size so this 60 percent we're gonna face the issues with that incremental size okay defining while defining it you might have defined default we might have defined more or less we need to consider that 
So to explain these things briefly, I'll take you through the slide. You could able to see once you uh, face the uh, errors or warnings or if you like if your analysis uh, got terminated due to some issues, you will be having this tab that is could able to see this job, right? So if you simply uh, select the job name and right click and use the monitor option, you'll be having the log files, error files, warning files, output, output data and message file, status files. So if you want to access these other things, you can directly go to the uh, like Windows C and time files. There you'll be having the uh, dot uh, dot and dot uh, message files. So there you can even check these all the details. But if you're using the software, you can directly use the monitor option to check the errors and warnings from here. Okay, shortcut. Now, if you access your temp uh, folder, you're gonna have this uh, dot dot. You can be able to see here, and we have the dot message. From here, you can able to check the error details and the warnings well these are the two ways to uh, find out your uh, error details where exactly it is uh, facing the issues okay next the common errors the first error too many increments needed to complete the step okay sometimes uh, you have defined the default increments they're not uh, uh, sufficient so what you can do is you can go to the uh, uh, step settings there you can just increase the number of steps okay and then next thing is uh, the uh, time increment required is less than whatever the minimum specified step is there. So sometimes you have to find the more increments. So we need to reduce it or you can reset it to default. Okay. Next thing you have this one, the very important that is the strain increment has exceeded the 50th times the strain uh, to cause the yield at 256 points. It might vary the point uh, number depending upon the mesh elements. Okay. The uh, cost node points. To check these things uh you can just follow these things that is the uh, it will be due to this one that is the excessive or the unrealistic loading which we have given or the inconsistent material properties or the insufficient mesh or unstable deformation or such as buckling and all it will be having so due to that you'll be having this issue the uh, the strain increment has exceeded the 50th times of strain so to deal with this what exactly we can do is uh, we can just uh, go ahead with this the too many attempts made for this increment to solve this you can approach the same uh, step like you can go to directly uh, this uh, step module from there other in the general solutions control you can have this uh, edit step option there you can just change the time incrementation tab there you can just uh, use the second tab from there you can use this IA so there you can just increase the IA number by just editing this one so what exactly does is it will just uh, try to uh, increase the minimum cutbacks to just uh, run the analysis okay you could able to see here in this so what exactly happened here is so due to some issues so it has tried again to solve this one okay uh, attempt one unsuccessful again second attempt third attempt fourth attempt and uh, fifth attempt like it will keep on attempting until unless it will uh, like give you the uh, proper uh, strain results okay so sometimes it will exceed whatever the uh, by default it is there might be 50 so you can even increase by default it might be 10 as well so if you increase this uh, ai maximum cutbacks you might get the results as well okay well so finally uh, i would like to introduce one more uh, error that is this one error element missing section so this you will get uh, frequently to solve this you need to just uh, deal with the uh, the material properties you need to define it properly okay sometimes you might be having the uh, issues with the geometry as well you need to rectify that as well okay so in short to summarize if you want to deal with these all the things like if you are facing any of the uh, errors you can just check the uh, uh, error check message okay and you could be able to see here error check message warnings also you can check okay and then you can even use the uh, dot message file and dot add file and the dot stat files will also help you to resolve the issues in abacus okay yep so that's all about the abacus a uh, basic interview question so if you want to refer more uh, see whatever the topics i have covered till it is just basics if you are a fresher if you have simple like the basic knowledge in abacus then only you can able to have these questions like if you are if they are looking for the guy who has more than five to eight years experience or three to five years experience there are a lot of questions they're gonna ask so what and all the things you're gonna mention in resume is very important if you have mentioned i know crash analysis will be like 
TikTok. So you need to know each and everything about the crash analysis. Okay, uh, low speed, high speed, and all. So if you have mentioned the durability analysis, you need to know each and every thing about the durability analysis. So if you simply have run the simple analysis, and if you want to get into durability, it is quite difficult. So please, before uh, like making your resume, mention what exactly you know. So if you don't know anything, you just say no. Okay. If you want to learn, please do learn it properly and uh, face the interviews or else it is quite difficult to play the, any of these interviews. Well, uh, that's all about this session. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Bye everyone.